It's a Minimalist Monday edition of Optimal Living Daily, episode 598, How to Maintain Motivation to Simplify Your Life, by Courtney Carver of bemorewithless.com, and I'm Justin Mollick, your very own personal narrator. Happy Monday, hope you're having a great start to your week, if you're listening in real time. And welcome to Optimal Living Daily, where I narrate the best blogs I can get permission from, all in an effort to optimize your life. And on Mondays in general, I like to do Minimalist Mondays, Today's post comes from Corny Carver, a popular minimalist. But before we get into the article, thank you to Talkspace for sponsoring this episode. Talkspace is an online therapy company that makes therapy affordable, confidential, and convenient. For a special offer just for you listening to this show, come by Talkspace.com old. That's Talkspace.com old. And today's article is a frequently asked question that I hear about keeping that motivation and inspiration to simplify. So let's jump right in as we optimize your life. How to Maintain Motivation to Simplify Your Life by Courtney Carver of bemorewithless.com. Have you ever started a big closet clean out, began a debt repayment program, or tried to simplify your life in other ways only to lose motivation midway through? Maybe you stopped because you didn't have a strong support system or it felt too hard to continue. The thing about simplicity is that it isn't always easy, especially in the beginning. In most cases, it doesn't happen overnight either, so figuring out ways to maintain motivation is essential. The good news is that with each thing you release, you feel a little lighter. The new space and time you create will serve as motivation and inspiration to keep going. Here are seven ways to maintain motivation to simplify your life and possibly inspire people around you to simplify too. Number one, Bring it to life. Reading and sharing books and blog posts is a great way to stay inspired as you pay down debt, declutter, and begin to live a simpler life. Bringing what you read to life is an even bigger dose of inspiration. Attend a meetup.com get-together, local minimalist.org meeting, or attend one of the following events. Tiny wardrobe tour. I'm traveling to 33 cities at least to share the hows and whys of starting Project 333, the minimalist fashion challenge that invites you to dress with 33 items or less for 30 days to bring more simplicity, love, and joy into your life. I'll be sharing my enough is enough moment and what led me to give away most of my stuff, downsize to a small apartment, and leave a 20-year career in sales and marketing. I'll bring my tiny wardrobe, but the conversation will have very little to do with clothes and fashion. It's all about health, happiness, and love. The Q&A and discussion part of the evening is my favorite. Less is now tour. Join the minimalists for a night of less. Joshua and Ryan will present an in-depth talk about minimalism and record a live version of the minimalist podcast. Number two, get your heart in the game. If your heart isn't in the game, permanent change doesn't stand a chance. Really understand your motivation to change. What's pulling on your heart? For instance, Quitting sugar to lose 10 pounds to fit into your high school jeans for reunion may get your ego's attention, but it might not really speak to your heart. But if you think quitting sugar will help you sleep better, prevent cancer, and live longer, now it's a matter of the heart. Why do you want to simplify your life? I simplified for better health and more love. I can't tell you what your reasons are, but I do know once you identify them, vocalize them, and write them down, you will never look back. Once your heart is in the game, you will find the strength you need to let go of the clutter, the busyness, and all of the other things standing between you and what matters most. Number three, change your subscription habits. Unsubscribe from emails and publications that encourage you to spruce up your wardrobe and buy things that eventually contribute to your clutter. Let go of anything that suggests you need to buy more stuff to be more you. Let your inbox and magazine reading inspire motivation and not derail your efforts. Try Simplify Magazine. The first issue on happiness is free. Number four, curate your social feeds. Fill your social feeds with inspiration to simplify. Join me on Facebook or Instagram and follow your favorite simple living authors and advocates. If part of simplifying for you is cutting back on social media, try a digital fast for 24 hours a week and set a timer when you do engage. It's so easy to go down the Facebook rabbit hole, but if you set a timer, you'll be reminded to unplug and go for a walk or do something else you enjoy. Number five, live it now. 
You don't have to wait until you are debt-free, clutter-free, or living as simply as possible to enjoy your life. Find little ways to enjoy the simpler life you are creating each day. Take a long walk, cook a simple meal, spend a phone-free evening with people you love. Number six, have fun with it. We aren't motivated by tasks and chores. Make your simplicity journey fun and lighthearted by hosting a minimalist scavenger hunt or play other games like I've described. Number seven, be good to yourself. Big change usually comes with some slipping and sliding, a few steps forward and then even more steps backward. Don't beat yourself up or let guilt hold you back from trying again. Be good to yourself. Take care of your body, heart, mind, and soul. Good things take time. You've got this. You just listened to the post titled How to Maintain Motivation to Simplify Your Life by Courtney Carver of bemoresless.com. And big thanks again to my sponsor for today's episode, Talkspace. They offer an amazing service to connect with therapists online and at a really great price. You can have a therapist handpicked just for you and for as little as $32 a week, which if you've ever gone with a therapist, you know that's a great price. And possibly best of all, Talkspace allows you to send your therapist text, audio, and video messages whenever you want, or take it up a notch and do a live chat, which is a really great idea for anxious people like me. To sign up or to learn more, come by Talkspace.com old, and they have a special offer for you listening to this episode. You can use the coupon code OLD and get $30 off your first month, all while showing support for this podcast. Again, that's the coupon code OLD, and you can use that at Talkspace.com OLD. For me, surrounding yourself with things that remind you to minimize and simplify can help a lot. I do a podcast that focuses a lot on minimalism, so obviously that helps. But I'm also in Facebook groups, which by the way, end up taking over my feed, but that's a good thing because like I talked about earlier this week, maybe it was yesterday, I don't remember, but those updates you see from friends on social networks are curated. That's not how they are all the time. It's a brief glimpse of their curated, best foot forward life. That's not a bad thing, but you can't compare yourself to that. But changing your feed to focus on good messages and positivity, simplifying, things like that, it'll serve as a nice reminder. I should probably move mine to health and fitness because that's where I'm lacking at the moment and I need reminders to move around more. But anyway, I do like the social feed recommendation to actually curate that yourself instead of letting others curate your feed for you. So try that out. I'll leave it there for today. Have a great start to your week and end of the month. Oh, really quick, last chance to be in a book raffle happening at midnight. You can get in before midnight at oldpodcast.com by joining the weekly newsletter. All right, that's it for real. I'll see you tomorrow where we'll likely hear more about minimalism and where your optimal life awaits. Hey, this is Dan from the Optimal Finance Daily Podcast, which is a lot like this show, except more focused on personal finance. Justin handpicks the best posts he can find from blogs and authors like Ramit Sethi, Mr. Money Mustache, and more, and I read them to you five days a week. So if you enjoy this podcast, come on over and subscribe to Optimal Finance Daily too. And together, we'll optimize your financial life. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.